What is going on in Texas? <laughs> this is too cold, man. Good evening. Welcome back. It's almost 12 a.m. We are hours away from embarking on my biggest bass fishing send of the year. If not, probably my entire life. We are headed eight hours south to the Texas-Mexico border to fish a lake of many anglers' dreams. At one point in time, this lake was considered to be one of the best in the world. Falcon Lake. Falcon Lake. Falcon Lake, about a two hour drive west northwest of here, is at its lowest level in about 20 years. In the early 2000s, this lake was putting out some of the biggest and heaviest sacks that anglers have probably ever seen. An unbelievable set of circumstances on Falcon Lake. 28 pounds, two ounces. Keith Combs has done it. Of course, it's no secret that Texas in many ways is kind of the new bass fishing capital of the United States, maybe even consider the world. And with that in mind, uh, I've decided to, to pack up the boat, bring up Caleb, tell him to pack up the camera gear, and we're gonna make a trip. Three to four day send to a lake I've never fished before, but I've only dreamt about. Pretty ambitious of me to keep the mustache. I look like I could be on a list of some sort. We are 48 minutes away from our destination. It's quite the drive. I drove half the way, shot the Caleb for driving the rest. Things are looking a lot different down here. We haven't chased away the nasty weather. Freezing rain this morning. We saw a car literally lunge off of a bridge and land below. Nasty stuff. Perfect time to plan an eight-hour road trip. Just want to keep you on the loop though. The drive's going good. I'm getting jitty. I'm getting jitty. Just want to up you. <laughs> I'm getting giddy, I'm getting giddy and excited. Jittery and giddy, that's what I meant to say. I'm getting jittery and giddy. I just wanna fish, I just wanna crack on some bass. There's the update. Things are looking good, let's keep trucking. Welcome to Zapata, Texas. Maybe a national record, I don't know. State record, I think it's 279. That thing weighed 300 and bottomed out the scale. Why, why, why didn't it uh, make a cut? Well, because the guy didn't go get it certified, you know, uh, went shot it. But back then, nobody around here had a scale that went over 300 pounds. No. For no. what would you use that for? Yeah. I got one now that goes to four. Do you know? Yeah. yeah. I told him you just took a chainsaw and cut some in half, and you could have weighed both pieces. Yeah. You could have maybe still cut them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> These fish grow faster than any place I've ever seen. Really? It's just the same. I've seen the cycle two or three times. It just is what it is. It's like when Amasad kind of had its cycle too, well, right? Yeah, and it cycled about the same time we do. You know, all yeah. these river lakes like this are on the Rio Grande. You know, both these lakes are built in the desert. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. you can't expect to have them full. They define nature pretty much. Right, right. Doing that's it. exactly. Yeah. And you're built to catch the water when there's a catastrophe and hold the water. Yeah. And that's what the lakes are built for. But we have the resurgence and the new lake syndrome every time the lake comes up like that. That's just the way it's it is. It's that flow, right? It is, it is. Well, nice meeting you. Thank What's you your name, young man? Caleb. Caleb? Caleb, Caleb yes, sir. Good to meet you. Good to meet you all. If y'all uh, need anything or whatever, just holler at me. Thank you, boy. Appreciate it. You might stop back in, honestly. Stop off at Falcon Lake Tackle. I was highly recommended to make this stop before venturing out on our journey and it was well worth it. James, I believe he was the owner, yeah, we got to chat with him for a bit. Absolute grade A human being, very nice, very cool about us filming and gave us some knowledge. Way four miles away from the lake of my childhood dreams. I remember the first time I heard about Lake Falcon, it was, I think it was like a BASS elite event that they hosted here. It was, gosh, I wanna say it was like 2010. Paul Elias won the thing. He broke the heavyweight three-day or was a four-day big bass record. Caught like 134 pounds of bass. I remember being in my parents' house in my room, snowing sideways in the middle of the winter of Illinois, watching this dude, this professional angler, catch some of the biggest bass I've ever seen in the heat of the Texas summer. And I thought to myself, I'm like, 
like one day I'm gonna fish here. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, whether you know I, I end up making a career out of fishing or if, if I have to take a vacation day from whatever job I end up landing, I'm gonna make it a mission to fish this lake, no matter what the circumstances are. Today's the day to just kind of dick around a little. We really didn't anticipate fishing, but we had so much extra time. And I was just itching to be on the water that we're like, screw it, let's launch the boat. I also want to note this is probably one of the worst times to fish a lake like this. Predominantly, this fish is comprised of Florida strain largemouth, and Florida strain largemouth absolutely hate the cold. There's steam coming off the water. Like I mentioned earlier, we had an ice storm hit North Texas. So the chance of us actually catching anything today, probably pretty slim, but I want to get somewhat comfortable with this lake in the afternoon before we hit it in the morning. I just wanna put my eyes on it. Oh, sh dude. Is that the Federal? That's the Federalis, isn't it? Oh my God. Hopefully they don't see us. I bet they, I bet they are so wet. Well guys, I feel like this is a good opportunity to introduce uh, the two idiots that will be joining us on this trip. The bilge pump is on. Stays on. <laughs> So good, we probably had 20 gallons of water. No way. <laughs> oh my god. Woo! So did you guys catch him or what? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. What do you think? What do you think, Margo, Margs and Tacos now? Or do you wanna do you wanna fish a little bit longer? We're done? Okay. All rods, all rods. Yeah, I can tell. made it a quick little fishing sesh on Lake Falcon resulted in us getting blown off the water some of the nastier weather I think I've fished period let alone this far south I can't believe it I can't even get this cold this far south like I said we're basically on the southernmost lake that you can possibly fish in Texas also right on the border of Mexico and Texas and um, it was chilly what do you think I don't know I just got in here put it on the spot it's pretty fishy Fishy, for look, sure. Look at cool. the 10-pounder. What are all these signatures? I'm going to practice on them. Bill Dance. I'm going to practice on this big one. Ugh. Bill Dance? You see all the signatures? Where? Oh, Whoa. Dean Rojas? Keith Combs? Oh, yeah. Keith Combs, I think, won the last one out here. Dude, this place has got some history. Oh, that's sick. I wonder if I could point out some of these. Is that, that's Davey Height. So when I booked this Airbnb, I saw a couple of the reviews and one of the reviews was like, this is definitely where to stay if you're a fisherman. I didn't realize it's, it's like, it's like this. Like homie's got like a legit poster of a bunch of Elite Series anglers autographed on here. That's Van Damme, that's Kevin Van Damme right there. That's a signature. He's also got a 10 pound bass mounted. Skin mount too, that's OG right there. Shaw Grigsby, this is so cool, dude. Should, should we sign our names too? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> we had a great day today. I think we should just add to it. My spot. Um, it's it's undecided yet. We don't have a spot. Here, check this out. Check this out. No, no, no. You... Sauna? Not, not, not as better, but pretty cool. Is this signed by all the anglers? <laughs> Van Dam. Shot Grisby. Davey Height. Gary Klein. No way. Rick. Clun, right there. Like, Where am I? This, whoever that guy is. <laughs> Where am I? At? I don't know. We, we should take it out of the frame and sign. <laughs> sign over. Uh, sign over. Like that, you're gonna see a YouTube video down the Randy road. Randy Howell. Oh my god. Randy Howell. Yeah. Langmore signed this. It's pretty funny though. Wow, this is a. This it's is a piece of history. Very, very suiting. Skin mount ten pounder. No way. <laughs> no way. Oh my god. Where did that come from? It is towel out of the drain. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it How did it come out of the drain? I thought you were going to show your wee wee, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I will. <laughs> All the way from 
Texas. You guys want to introduce yourself real quick? Yeah, I'm Grant Langmore. Um, I'm from Austin. I like to swim bait fish a lot. And I'm excited to catch some smallmouth. Let's do Just so <laughs> humble. I like to swim bait fish a lot, dude. <laughs> That's insane that that is you, dude. That is crazy, dude. You must have been what, like... 13. I was 13. Despite the fact that over the next couple of days you get some pretty dusty conditions, it being kind of cold and windy, uh, we we might have a solid window at the tail end of this trip. But regardless, I'm excited. Like, I'm really, really stoked to just have a full day on Lake Falcon, figure it out, just run around, see what this lake is really all about. Like I said, it's been a lifelong dream of mine to fish this place and like to think that we got here now. Just just coming here to this Airbnb and seeing this poster of Falcon and admiring all the signatures from Elite Series anglers. And it's just kind of a precursor as to what hopefully is to come in the next couple of days. There's one. There's one. Nice fish. Nice fish. No. Somehow I got stuck with you. First things first, you should be happy because I'm a rabbit's foot on that boat. Some days I'm full, I'm no. a guy, not a rabbit's foot. But the reason I didn't fish with Peric is because he was being super mean to me this morning. And we he only is good for about an hour and a half, <laughs> and then he takes a nap. I don't think he could comfortably nap in this weather, though. You might have him oh, all day. Dude, he could. <laughs> if anybody could, it would be Peric. He could, he could take a nap in the morning. Take a picture, there's no way. The boat's not even, the bottom of the boat's just not touching. This is insane. What the hell are we doing? We could have launched in Zapata, but that would have meant we had to go like 15 miles into the, some of the nastiest waves that I've probably ever set sail into. This is a prime example of trying to fit a square block in a circle hole. None of this makes any sense, but we're too ignorant. And Grant somehow convinced me to actually go fishing today. Today I was honestly thinking about taking a knee, but I mean, we didn't drive all the way down here for nothing, so we might as well try it. At least we can fish this bay, right? Also too, we met uh, we met some, I don't wanna say locals, but guys that fish here quite frequently. They highly, highly recommended for our safety and for our sanity not to fish today. But here we are, doing a bit of off-roading. We didn't what? even, we no, no, to a primitive ramp. What'd you say? I was gonna say we didn't even tell them we were going. Oh, we were too embarrassed. Were, yeah. yeah, we were too embarrassed. <laughs> and they were st so strongly advising against it, but yeah. we knew we were going either way, right? Regardless. Oh yeah, regardless. Well, we were basically right back where we started. We just drove halfway across South Texas and back just to find a bunch of gates that have locks on them. I don't know. We're gonna try this out. It's like. 11. We got up at 6 this morning. It's like 11. Probably won't start fishing until 12. And the crusty part is this part of the river, or this part of the lake is just, it's getting cranked right now. And it's dirty, dirty shallow water. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll get a bite. Probably not. But, uh, this sucks. It's a race. He just took us to Gapple. He's...
Well, we're fishing spot number one. The weather actually isn't as bad as it was yesterday, although it's pretty terrible. Yesterday was a whole other game. It was like the beginning of the front. At least we can fish right now. We're kind of like, what, in the midsection of the lake? Yeah. And we ran probably a couple miles down towards the dam. Found a nice rocky point, and now we're dragging soft plastics on some hard bottom, seeing if maybe this is the key. Normally, I wouldn't have too much like discouragement fishing these conditions, but everyone I've talked to has said that Lake Falcon doesn't fish good during the cold front, cold snaps like this. Like these fish, for whatever reason, just hate the cold. I've had some of my best days during conditions like this, but it kind of does hurt my confidence just knowing that the locals are like, yeah, don't even bother going out today. The cold front just hasn't messed up. So it's a little, little weird. Regardless, we're just gonna try it anyway. We have to. Mexico right now. This is Mexican weather. This is insane. This is absolutely. Like this is no, oh, dude. This is yeah. This feels like Mexico. worse than me. Because in Maine, you're, you're like prepared for it. You're like okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can get the out of the wind in Maine for sure. Slow bite. Why are you guys yeah, out there fishing? This is this is what we do when we don't get to go fishing. We kind of just lose it in the, in better terms. How many hours you clock on TikTok today? We just rot. <laughs> I'm just rotting. Day number three of not catching fish here on Lake Falcon. This has been our third day here in Lake Falcon, and uh, we didn't even fish today. Literally just stayed in. Nice. Yeah. No. We. Uh, this is like the. Third day here, we didn't even bother hooking the boat up. It's really gross. The good thing is, is uh, you know, I think at the tail end of this trip, like for three days, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be cold in the morning, but like, I think it's gonna get to 70 something in the afternoon. But for now, we're, we're hunkering down. I'm gonna make some chili. I'm trying to convince Peric or convince myself to go get some tequila so we can make some margaritas. But for now, I'm gonna whip up some, some Southwest spicy chilies. And uh, we're gonna hunker down a couple of the game plan for tomorrow. We definitely are gonna fish tomorrow. It's gonna be just as windy, but a little bit warmer and the sun's gonna come out, so I think maybe we'll have a good shot. The problem is just getting to the south end of the lake, and in order to do that, you've gotta go through some treacherous stuff, and we haven't been able to come close. Um, I mean, the boys almost sank their boat. I'm pretty sure you guys saw the, the clips from that. Literally, Peric had a good foot of water in his boat, so it's not safe. It's not safe, but you know what is safe? Staying in, staying warm, making some food. Cool, got it. It's been depressing, to say the least. Like, literally didn't go out more than once today and it wasn't to fish, it was to get some stuff and make chili and may or may not have grabbed a bottle of tequila to drown our sorrows away. But it's, uh, you know, moments before we're actually gonna try to attempt to fish all day. It's not gonna be like great in the morning as far as wind-wise goes, but it's gonna be a little bit warmer and the clouds are gonna finally break. We're supposed to get some sun. So I figured this would be a good opportunity to grab some rods, rig up, Respool some old setups. Matter of fact, um, this rod I got right here is a, uh, I don't know if this rod's available yet, but if it is, I'll leave a link down below. This is the Guggen Muscle XL. It's uh, basically like a falcon rod. Like it's just perfect for lakes like this, like Amistad Falcon, Lake Fork, any of those big lakes that require you to throw a big worm or to drag a shaky head. I've yet to catch a fish on this rod, um, but I'm pretty stoked to try it out. Like we should have legitimately three days to catch fish, but we also had three days where we just can't do anything. Like, I mean, we were literally the only two boats on Lake Falcon yesterday. Only two boats. There was two lawns on Lake Falcon, and it was just us. I'm gonna rig up some rods, get situated for tomorrow. Just crazy, man. I just, I don't know, I feel like I'm cursed. I feel like I'm, I don't know if I'm an idiot for planning these trips around the worst possible time, but I feel like I'm cursed. I don't think that's a bass. No way, it's a bass. It's good, whatever it is. 